Hi guys. Um, I'm going to do this video from my heart. I see a lot of infighting on YouTube when we all should be uniting for humanity's sake. Um, I don't know if this is egos or, or what this is. Um, most of us, when we got on YouTube to spread what we thought or what we believe is the truth we did not know it was going to start an ego war and that's what it seems to be doing instead of um, uniting I think that the powers that be knew eventually we would divide because you know they have this figured out but I don't believe we have to divide I believe we can unite now if you're not putting out now, a lot of people put out parroted information, and I'm going to say that they get it from a couple of sources, and they just regurgitate it. Stop doing that unless you've got a different take on it and you found something new. You know, that would be a good thing. You don't have to be on YouTube every day. This isn't a contest. This is truth, and we need the truth to be spilt over like a flood a dam breaking. We need the truth to spill out. We don't need to regurgitate. We don't need to hate people with critical thought that may leave you something on your um, videos. I also noticed that um, there's a lot of name calling. I have blocked people from my YouTube before because they were calling me crazy for, you know, First of all, for chemtrails or what I believe. And they didn't have to watch my video. And I don't watch some videos. If someone's talking down to, you know, on their video, they talk down to to you and say, I told you first and, and I'm the first one that got this information out or I'm the only one that knows this information. Well, you should just disregard that because no one knows really the whole, all the information or the truth. And no one was probably the first one to put it out. You know, there's a lot of little guys that put stuff out that never get noticed. And I'm not even talking about me. I can go find some of the best articles that only have two views on it. And, and that amazes me. While some people get thousands of views and they just parrot um, some certain, you know, people who have radio shows. And, um, and, and I'm not saying they're good or bad. It's just some of them offer absolutely no solutions. But I'm, I'm not here to offer solutions today either because I don't know the solutions. I know there's foreign troops in our land, and I'm going to show you that all anybody had to do was go to their search engine and look up how long this has been going on. I thought I just did a very basic thing yesterday, but this has been going on since the 1990s or probably earlier. So UN and NATO and Russia and other countries are on our soil and have been. I urge everybody to look up Project 60 also. Um, I'll see if I can find the link and put down there about China buying some cities in Idaho. Anyway, I'm going to briefly do this um, and show you a few um, things, you know, from the 1990s about NATO and UN troops and foreign troops being on our soil. So this is not new news. This is old news. Um... I don't know if they are uh, preparing for martial law. Um, they've been here a while. I'm certainly sure that one day it'll come to that because, or is it a distraction? See, sometimes I think some of these things are distractions to keep us from the real thing. We need to unite. This has divided everybody on YouTube. Um, I don't like the term truther because really none of us know the truth. So this has divided the people I like on YouTube. And um, I've even been banned from one sub, one of the subs I, you know, somebody I subscribe to. I was banned by using critical thought. I just thought I would put out a different outlook. But I look at things differently, maybe from more of a, a holistic or Native American perspective. But because I wasn't going with their parroted uh, scenario, I was banned. And I was called disinfo. And it doesn't bother me. They can keep doing what they do. And, 
and um, that's fine with me. Now I would like to show you just a couple of things and then I'll make this real brief. Um, but really, let's unite for humanity's sake. Stop all this egos, and that's what it is. It's ego. Um, you know, it doesn't matter who gets the most counts or the most, you know, thumbs up um, or the most comments. It's about getting it out so other people can, you know, take it in, do it in a nice way. Don't point your finger and say, I told you first. I knew this was going to happen because no one really knows what's going to happen. We can change things with our thoughts and our frequencies if we wanted to, if people would practice that. As my good friend, the true Ray, and another good friend, um, she knows who she is in Oregon, says, we, get, we focus, and yet I focus on these things too. So we can change things, um, but we have to do it in the right way. And let's stop all this, this bashing one another. We're, we're here to unite humanity, unless you have another agenda. And if you do, I really don't want anything to do with you. My job here is to unite humanity. I think that was my whole purpose. Um, some of us know our purpose. Some of us are, are, some guys are just getting in the game and act like they've been in the game for a long time. Where a lot of us have, have been in the game for a long time and didn't really want to, I mean, I've been an activist and then I quit being an activist and then I was an activist again. And that's kind of been my life. So um, I'm going to show you this real quick. And then I'm going to get off and I'm going to hope the sun comes out again today. And I actually love every one of you, even those of you who haven't caught on to that it's not an ego game. Maybe you will unite, set some differences aside, quit calling people names, and let's join. This is our home, the earth, and there is a group that are trying to destroy all of us. And that's what we need to be focusing on, not this little petty he said, she said stuff. That stuff of children, you're an adult. I myself think I can govern myself, but I'm seeing grown men um, saying outlandish stuff like they're children. Grow up. Take responsibility. Maybe you need to go garden or get away from the computer. Anyway, real quickly, and I shouldn't have even said that, but really, you are acting like children. Um, and... And later today, I am going to do, or tomorrow, a video on Native American perspective um, on the 4th of July. It'll be really interesting, but really quick, let me show you this. All right. Uh, let me turn this around. All right. This is from CBS News, and this is in the 1990s. I'll leave the link. And it says... Foreign military troops in the United States. I'm not going to read it. This goes back to 95. Um, here we go over here. This is the United, U.S. Army NATO Brigade. Uh, I'll let you read this too because I, I want to make this short, but it pretty much tells you all the countries involved and where and they practice I guess we we practice on they practice here we practice on their land so there's your NATO all right let's go over here right here I'm gonna leave this link the Korean War Irish UN troops US support for you just click on any of these links some go to different sites like um, uh, this one's a strange one this is from Wounded Warrior Project this is from 1997. I'll let you read it. It talks about foreign troops being on the land. Um, here's one from 2010. Russian troops head to NATO states for military workout. Um, I think that's all I got up here. Uh, oh, the Intel Hub. That's the one I wanted to show you. Confirmed Russian and foreign troops ordered into U.S., that's a 2010 article. So what they're doing, uh, some say they're here, not this article, some say they're here for um, martial law. Um, but uh, they've been here since the 1990s, and so I don't know what they're here for. And if you're putting out disinfo, it's wrong it's unless you've got proof. And if you say you have proof and you don't put it up, then you're disinfo. So I want to send all my love and peace to everyone. And everybody remember, truth is what's going to set us free. 
not egos or anything else or who can get the most views. So I love every one of you. I hope you have a nice day. We were supposed to have a big yellow star in the sky, not blocked by clouds, but right now we are blocked by clouds and I want the sun to come back out. Anyway, peace and love to all of you because I do love you um, and I will talk to you later. And please leave your comments below and tell me if you think I'm wrong. If you do, that's okay. And um, free speech, unless it gets too far biz bizarre, is always welcomed on my site. You start calling me names, I will block you. If you offend other people, I will block you. Um, because I've noticed I've gotten trolls lately. I find that funny. Some of them I just let stay on there. Um, anyway, peace and love, you guys. Let's unite for humanity's sake. This isn't about us. It's about all of us against those elites who want to control the whole world. And Linda's out.